I'd like to ask the president of the Women's Association, the Tibetan Women's Association, who was one of the co-sponsors of this conference, she would share with us a word or two. Uh, in the name of the Tibetan women, I would like to thank all the, uh, the organizers on this uh, today's International Day of uh, Women. And I'm very proud of Ribia Kadir and Prince Onyedrin. And I would like to thank all to, uh, give, to give us the possibility to speak for all the voiceless women in this world. Thank you very much. And we thank you. And now please share with us your questions addressed to one or more of the panelists, either by name or all of them collectively. We only have 20 minutes, so I ask you to ask the question tersely. Please refrain from making a statement. We want to hear from our panelists, please. Questions? Yes, sir. My fellow white-haired gentleman. 13 years ago, so I don't know these new things. Forgive me. My name is Jamshid Anbar, and I am not representing the Green Movement. I'm Iranian. But I think I'm old enough to be permitted to express my full solidarity with the people of China and with the, with the people of Tibet and the Uyghurs, the Muslim Uyghurs in China. Mr. Chairman, I don't want to uh, take your time. I just want to say that I have been a fan of China for over 50 years. And I tell you, if you give me time later, I will tell you the details. My question today is that the Chinese government today has supplied the Iranian government with these huge monster anti-riot uh, vehicles, which are capable of crushing hundreds of people in one minute, and also they are able to throw water on the demonstrators, colored water, which would not, which like the, when you vote, in, uh, and they put an ink on your finger, which will not be able to wash, so they can recognize every demonstrators easily and effectively. And we, as the Iranian Green Movement, have protested the Chinese, and we have called for a, a ban of the Chinese good in Iran. Is there a question, sir? What can you do for us as Chinese? Thank you. Young John Lee. Sorry uh, for what uh, the Chinese has done in uh, Iran. I always uh, tell international community uh, you just uh, pick up a dictator uh, on the globe today. Iran, North Korea, Burma, Cuba, so you name it. So Chinese government is behind it. So that is why we have to change the Chinese government. So Chinese government become the major barrier in the way to the freedom of the whole world. So what I can do, I'm sorry, I can do very little, but I can do is I, do ver I work very hard to change the political situation in China, to realize democracy in China as soon as possible. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Yang. Questions, please. Gentlemen, the fourth row with this hand up. There are two together. I don't know if it's a gentleman or a woman because you're sitting in a vertical line with me, but I think it's the gentleman that had his hand up. Thank you, and I'm glad to be here, and I'm, like most, like all of us, I was touched and moved by the experiences uh, that were shared uh, this morning. Uh, I'm not too sure whether it's a question or an observation, but I would very much like the input from the panel. Basically, the chairman, the director, in his opening remarks, uh, mentioned 
various atroci atrocities happening all around the world. Pardon me, sir. We're having some difficulty hearing you here. C could you speak up just a bit, sure, please? Sure. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah. B basically, m my question or observation is, in the opening remarks, the ch director made various mentioned various countries uh, where there is such abuses. I did not hear anything being said about United States or Israel. So I would like to know, how, you know, just to ensure why those were left out. And secondly, in relation to the atrocities in China, yes, there is so much happening and we are, we are aware of it. And uh, the gentleman, Mr. Dr. Yang Jian Li, mentioned about the two sides, the, the few who are controlling and the majority who are being oppressed. What is the sort of uh, coordination or cooperation that exists between this majority who are being, within quotes, oppressed and the Taiwans and the Tibetans who are also oppressed? What, what, I mean, is there some sort of dialogue, discussion, because all of you are, from what you say, all of you are being uh, kept under oppression. Uh, thank you. So what was the second country you mentioned? You mentioned the United States. What was the other country? Israel. 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 I can't speak for Israel. I can speak for the United States. Uh, in the United States, we have a democracy. We have freedom of the press. If there are human rights abuses in the United States, it's the responsibility of us, the American people. We're responsible for what happens in the United States. We can't blame it on others. We have the ability to elect persons to office and to bring persons to justice. So the responsibility in the United States rests on all of us who are United States citizens. We do have a free democratic system, as does Israel. But I cannot speak on behalf of the country of Israel or the government of Israel. But it, too, is a democracy. As for China, I turn to Dr. Yang. Well, you can ask him to. I believe his question was the distinction between the majority and the minority, economically and politically. Thank you for your question. Uh, I just want to add to uh, Ms. Uh, Bester's uh, answer about uh, America. Uh, Natan Sharansky, uh, recent, in recent years, published a book, Case for Democracy in which he talked about the case, the situation where when he talked about the violation of human rights in Russia, for example, to American audience, for example, somebody would come up, uh, stand up saying, oh, we have a lot of uh, human rights violations also in the United States, and uh, we have uh, so many problems. How can we help you? So in his book, he said very clearly, this is two different things. One is totally, the nature is totally different. One is, you know, no matter what, you have no channel of redressing grievances. But we cannot say there is no human rights violation in the United States. But anything like that happens, takes place in the United States, you can always find a channel to redress it. That's democracy. It's an intrinsic difference between democracy and a dictatorship. So we cannot just, uh, you know, uh, miss these two things together, uh, cannot make a distinction uh, between them. Okay, I come to China. Uh, the majority and the minority. This is uh, uh, another major problem China uh, is facing. And uh, these two panelists, co-panelists uh, co of mine, what they spoke today were evidently show that, showing that the Chinese government's policy on minority is a total failure in the past 60 years. And they totally ignore uh, uh, the right of the minorities. And their human rights situation is worse than the majority Han Chinese. We have to admit that. 
You know, of course, we all victims of the, uh, the, the, the dictatorship, but they have another layer of a suffering that they are minority. And many, more and more Chinese people become to be aware of this effect and to care for the minorities. But in the, in the uh, past, Chinese government controlled the information so that they can brainwash the majority of the, Chinese, the Han Chinese so that they believe uh, that the Chinese government uh, gave a, a, a favorable economic policy toward the Tibetans, the Uyghurs, and they shouldn't, they shouldn't complain against uh, uh, the Chinese government, things like that. And they also believe the Dalai Lama and Ms. Kadia, all the evils that they want to separate from China, which is not true either. So with the internet, with more and more people uh, trying to understand the real situation, the real history in the region of the minorities. So this, the, the, you know, more people understand the issue better and better. And as me, I think I encourage the dialogue between all the peoples under jurisdiction of People's Republic of China. And as a matter of fact, after this conference, actually this afternoon, I'm going to Dharamsala, where I will lead a delegation of a Chinese democracy movement to participate in the activities commemorating the 51st anniversary of the Tibetan uprising and the Dalai Lama's uh, in exile. Uh, uh, we will have a meeting with His Holiness the Dalai Lama and also uh, we'll have a meeting with the Gomaba. So that's a very interesting uh, 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 trip I will make after this, con uh, actually after lunch. So a uh, lot of uh, Chinese dissidents have been working very hard to bring all the peoples together, engage in the meaningful dialogue aiming at resolving the conflict and looking for the future, better future for all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yang. Let's see if we can get two more questions. One hand here is a second hand. Another gentleman over here. Why don't you ask your questions now? Stand up and ask. Then you stand up and ask, and then we'll get the answers. And maybe we can finish up almost on time. Well, f first of all, I would like to thank the conference organizers for the invitation to attend uh, the summit. And uh, <clears throat> I'd like to say it's a wonderful Would you report. tell us who you are and where you're from? I I'm sorry. My name is uh, Abdul Malik Makana, representing Mind Freedom Kenya. I'm from Kenya. And uh, I wanted to thank uh, John Suarez for the wonderful report that he has given. And in solidarity, I would like to, to say that it's a saddening situation or a saddening story to hear from what's happening in China. Myself, I was tortured in Kenya in December for working as a human rights activist, advancing the rights of persons with mental health disabilities. My question to you is, in China or in Tibet, what are you guys working on as far as disability rights? As your countries implemented the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, which is a very important international human rights treaty. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Second question, please, and then we'll get the answers. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Yusuf Ishak Yahya. Uh, I come from uh, Darfur. Uh, my solidarity with you personally and with all uh, many runs in China. Uh, in Darfur, there is uh, genocide uh, continuing going on. China is a part of this genocide by supporting the regime of Khartoum, sending 
arm. It means that the people of China is a part of genocide. What do you think about this? The first question goes to disabilities issue. What is being done by China as a government and in the areas occupied by China in Vigar and Tibet to recognize the rights of disabled persons? Do we have a member of the panel to respond to that? Yes. Madam Kadir. Right. Madam Kadir wants to answer on the question of aid to Khartoum. Why don't we take the second question first? Madam Kadir. Hatay hükümeti şu bütün dünyadaki diktatör devletlerinin hepsi ki yardım verip şart bu Cumhurbaşkanı'nın özüdeki varlık kişilik hukukta depsende kılış diktatör kılış bastırış ile toktap kamay bütün dünyadaki aş diktatör devletler bilen birleşip bu bütün dünyanın izvatı da hazır. Uh, it's a fact that the Chinese government supports all dictatorships in the world, whether that is uh, Sudan, Iran, or uh, all the other countries, in addition to oppressing the Uyghurs, Tibetans, and also silencing dissent in China. <laughs> Mongolia, Tibet, Uyghur, Asmala, Siyah, Kılıçtın, başka başka devletlerde şunu yapardı. Şu an bütün dünyadaki şu diktatör devletlerle ittifaklaşıp kalanla hemimiz birleşip, bütün dünyada birlikte anlatıp Hıhtay'a, şu Hıhtay'ın ki yardımı bilen diktatör uçuru avatkan devletlerin ki hem kişilik hukuku duçka gelle bilen birlikte bütün dünya anlatıp bütün dünya bu şu meselelerin işi işte birlikte besim işletse Hıhtay hükümeti hazır mı? Təsir köktüdü de parayım. And uh, it doesn't matter if you were hand Chinese, if you protest against the Chinese government like at Tiananmen, the Chinese government will send the tanks to crush you. But if you are Uyghur, Tibetan or Mongol or any other minority groups who try to fight for your own culture and your identity, the Chinese government also persecute us severely. And uh, in the world, the Chinese government uh, supports, as I said, all the authoritarian, totalitarian, dictatorial, genocidal regimes. Uh, and uh, that's why China has a hand in all the atrocities around the world. So I believe it's extremely important for all of us who suffer uh, human rights abuses, whether it's in China, in uh, Sudan, in Iran, in Zimbabwe, all over the world, we should all come together, work together for the human rights of all around the world. Thank you. Dr. Yang, by default, I ask you to respond to the question on disabilities. Thank you, Madam Kadir. So there is a disability, uh, dis uh, stability and uh, potential for crisis everywhere in China, in People's Republic of China, in East Turkestan, in Tibet. What the Chinese government to do, to put it simply, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, a, a peace a peace to the elite with the economic benefit corruption and uh, suppressing the powerless with the rock police so the one way they, they handle this is just to recreate increase the police force according to expert the the uh, armed of uh, police and the police on payroll and the payroll police all together we in china we have a uh, uh, one uh, uh, 5.5 million to 6 million and also we have a lot of uh, informers hired by the chinese government and the gangsters to handle the stability uh, issue everywhere and it is even worse in the minority uh, areas so um, uh, that, that's the Chinese government strategy to control the situation. And I want to add to um, uh, Ms. Kadia, we all understand, if I'm, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we all understand the Chinese government will not grant freedom to Uyghurs without granting freedom to the Tibetans, neither to, uh, to the Chinese. So our cause 
is shared. We have a shared cause. So we have to change the political regime first before we have our own freedom. So we work together and we have been working closely in past year, in recent years. And um, I saw uh, Jared Ganser, I just uh, men mentioned in my speech, he uh, played a very important role in uh, 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 helping me release uh, from uh, Chinese prison. Jared? We've run out of time, unhappily, but not without appreciation for the remarkable presentations we heard this morning from Abaya, from Dr. Yang Yan Li, and from Woodstock Nijan. You've informed us, you've enervated us, pardon me, you've energized us, and you've inspired us. We thank you so much for sharing your personal stories with us, telling us what you have lived through, and urging us to take action on behalf of oppressed persons everywhere. Please stay for the next conference, which celebrates the cause of women throughout the world, a tribute to International Women's Day, this eighth day of March, 2010. Thank you.